Okay guys, so apparently my laptop is being retarded. So we're just going to ignore that and uh, move on. Today's video is an uh, unexpected one. I am uh, very grateful and fortunate to win a giveaway from another channel. A good friend of mine by the name of Jim. Um, first and foremost, if you guys like comic books, collecting... Or just want to know more knowledge about it. I mean, Jim's the guy to go to. The uh, name of his channel is Improved Collecting Comics. And make sure you put the dash in there, okay? That will get you to the website or the, the YouTube channel. I'm sorry. Just search for it on there. Improved Dash Collecting Comics. His name is Jim. Awesome dude. Uh, very knowledgeable in comic books. Uh, I got to pick his brain a little bit. He's a... Uh, Highly educational. Whenever you, whenever you get a chance to speak to him, if if you're able to, um, uh, this is the uh, giveaway that I won, which is uh, Punisher number two. It's a kind of cool cover, I like it, and it's already encased in the CGC case. Uh, Nine point four. I really don't care about the grade. That doesn't mean anything to me. It's just the fact that I won something was really, really neat. I don't know if you can see it too good on this phone camera. I don't even know if my phone camera is that great. Anyways, this little thing here, that's just nonsense I was doing earlier. Making an attempt to uh, paint, I guess. That's like a painting. I'm better at drawing. Anyways, enough of that. Um, I'm going to try to do an unboxing. I'm going to do this with the... Uh, Holding the phone in my hand because my laptop was being dumb. Uh, got a bunch of packages here, as you can tell. Let's see. Uh, where's my trusty knife? Where are you? I ignore that phone. That's something else. Uh, trusty knife. Of course, it has to be green. You know me. And then Fawn gets scared every time. There she goes. Every time she hears a weird noise, she takes off. So I don't know if that's from abuse that she got from uh, before I picked her up or what. I picked her up when she was young. She was 11 months only. Um, I have to open first. Oh, my goodness. It's like Christmas. Let's see. I don't remember what these are. Uh, okay. How do I set this up so that uh, oh, maybe like this? I can't really see anything. Like that. Phone. Hello, phone. Ah, oh, crap. I'm dropping it is a good idea. Before I even drop that one. Jeez. Clumsy today. Should not take two hands to pull this out. There we go. Box done. There's tape on here somewhere. There it is. My super sharp knife should take care of this. I really hate having to hold the phone. There's more tape. How much tape they put on it? Man. Can't set this anywhere. Maybe there. Okay. I love bubble wrap. Best way to do things. Bubble wrap. 
we're gonna put tape on the case. I don't like that. Come on. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Popping a few to get this thing off. All right. All right. Hopefully I didn't damage it. All right. So I have the phone. Ah. Right. Okay. Flip it over. Yeah. I don't know if you can get a good look at that, but that's um, Marvel Zombies Resurrection number one variant edition with uh, looks like it got some scuff marks on here. If you can see that in the camera without the glare, there's a scuff there, but that could be the plastic wrapper as well. Which I like these clear plastic ones. I thought it was a cool cover and I was like, you know what, I'll just grab it to go with the, you know, the, the other spawn. Uh, it, it, basically a cover that's been stolen over and over again for the Spawn 300, I believe. Unless it was Spider-Man 300. One or the other. I think it was cool. Um, I don't know if it's worth anything. It don't matter. I just collect to collect. Ah, next package. Let's see what this is. This is a single. So more than likely it's... Um, more than likely... I can get it open. Put this down again. Again, I apologize for this video because... Couldn't be done with my webcam my professional mic on my laptop I'm just probably gonna have to buy a new laptop which I don't have the money for that it's just it's a pain in the butt like it was a good laptop it was a touch screen I just don't understand why it is uh, constantly overburdened by software for some reason like it's constantly have to end task I pull up uh, Microsoft Edge and it pulls up like 25 different tabs that I never open. It seems to not close out all the uh, tabs and they just stay open. Therefore slowing down the computer and not allowing me to do things. Ah, here we go. Okay. That's not a really good way to... Well, they put a lot of tape on it, but... Well, let's just see if you can see it. It's kind of dark. Um, Astro City number one. That's the tape you use, folks. If you're going to be using fo uh, tape on your comic books, don't use scotch tape. Use painter's tape, okay? I don't care what color it is. As long as it's painter's tape, that's all that matters. Um, uh, Astro City number one, I got this because it has the first appearance of... Uh, what's his name? Uh drawing blanks i haven't eaten breakfast and it's like three o'clock in the afternoon um well it's actually later than that Ooh, 4 30. um let's see the first appearance of oh my god the samaritan there we go and now the samaritan movie's coming out um to be honest i don't even know if it's the same character or not it doesn't matter i just like the cover Really, it's a really cool cover. Let me get it out of here so you can see it in the light. Um, they put painter's tape on here, but they put it on the back board of it, and it is really difficult to peel off. They put it too tight. I just have to fadangle it with my phalange somehow, and there we go. There's one. Probably gonna have to put this in another uh, bag and board because taking off the tape here. Just gotta put it on really tight. Whoever I bought it from. He or she, no matter. Okay, let's get rid of that Gemini box. Yeah, this is a really old, uh, it's got a ding right there in the top left corner, but I knew that going in. Um, right, I'm talking to myself, not even showing you a comic, sorry. So there's a, there's a ding at the very top left there. But it's pressable for sure, so I'm not too worried about it. Like I said, I just like the cover, you know, especially because it's, uh, you know, Alex Ross artwork. He does great artwork. I may have overpaid, but I don't care. <laughs> I, I don't care. I like this. This is really nice. 
Okay, so we'll set that there. And let's open this bundle over here. Oop. See? There's Mito sleeping over there. And there's Buddy sleeping as well. I don't know if you guys can see this from over there, but that's my working station where I actually grade comics and try to learn the trade myself. So that's something new. This is all collecting stuff that most of my viewers do not know about. So this is all new to them. It's all new to me. Uh, kind of new to me as far as grading goes. Uh, kind of blacked out the uh, names and stuff. Let's uh, suck her open up. Oops, I think I just cut the, uh, I think I just cut the, uh, the packaging. Yeah, I did. Oh, there we go. There's not much packaging in here. I don't like that there's a big old gap right there. They should have put something right in here. Look, my whole hand gets in it. My fat... My fat freaking hand fits in there. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me just um, set you guys aside again. God, this sucks. I need to get this computer fixed or something. Or you guys can look at the wall, maybe, while you're at it. I don't know. I can't really set this down anywhere. I'm still thinking of where to put that Punisher. I'm, I'm thinking on the left-hand side underneath the Spider-Man. So I got a whole bunch of Spider-Mans I need to get. Um, graded and case, but I'm waiting on EGS right now because they came out the new slabs that look just like like CGC uh, cases. Um, let me just pull this out of there. I put some extra bubbling, which is nice. Okay. Yeah. Well, this wasn't even taped. Okay. Ah, there we go. Hopefully this isn't damaged. 30th anniversary super size issue of Amazing Spider-Man 365. This is the, uh, they had a couple of these. I think four of them, exactly. Um, they had the little hologram thing going on. And I saw this and I thought, why not? This is a good uh, addition to my Spider-Man collection. Everyone's a big Spider-Man fan. To be honest, I think it's a little overrated. You know, I get it. he's very relatable. Uh, look, there's this freaking scotch tape right there. I hate it. You need to put freaking painter's tape. Come on, man. Anyways, this looks pretty good. I need to get that graded in case. I mean, just looking at it right now. Uh, is that a ding there? I can't really zoom in. Um, looks like there's a cut on the very... Um, very tip. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, come on. Focus. A little tiny cut there. I don't know if you can see it. Anyways, overall, it looks great. So we'll put that aside. Here's a blue one. Spectacular Spider-Man. Giant size 30th anniversary. Number 189. This one looks gorgeous too. I like the blue. Uh, put that aside. Look, here's a red one. Web of Spider-Man. Yes. Now, the fourth one is a green one, which I have somewhere. Let's take a walk. Since we're on my phone. Oh, do, 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 do. It's kind of dark over here. Where do I have that uh, Spider-Man? There's a bunch of other cases over here. Spider-Man... Where is it? Is it this one? No, that's Hulk. I know I have a whole stack of stuff here and I'm trying to find it. Oh, these are all these are all cases I need to put on the wall, man. Oh, and, and Jim, if you're watching, this is the uh This is the Wolverine number three I was telling you about. It's a really cool cover. Where it's half Wolverine, half Omega Red. The uh, freaking camera keeps uh Going in and out of focus. I hate that. What do I got here? X Force 11. First appearance of the real Domino. Um, Deadpool Cable. 
I, I, I like the actor that they got for Cable, but he's too small. In fact, when he's side to side with Deadpool, he's exactly the same size. And I'm just like, that's not how he is in the comics. <laughs> he's a huge man in the comics. Now, if Arnold was 30 years younger, or even 20 years younger, he could play uh, Cable real easy. I don't know about that accent, though. This is uh, Spider-Man Facsimile Edition number one. Um, artwork by you know who. If you don't know, then uh, you gotta look it up. It's Peach Momoko. Pretty cool little cover there. Where is my Spider Man? This is uh, a Magneto cover. Kind of cool. Giant size X Men Magneto number one. I need more lighting. I wonder if I put the light with that. Ooh, then you get a big old glare. Yeah, you get a big old glare on it. But hey, you can see a lot better, I think. Including glare or whatever. Okay, here's a Spider-Man. The green one I was telling you about. This is uh, just a Spider-Man, number 26. And it's giant size 30 anniversary. And there's the little hologram thing there. Oh, you can actually see with the light. Kind of cool. There we go. See? So I basically got the whole set. I just need to put them all in cases. And, and get them all graded. Oh, I got this big old stack. I got to put it back up here. And if you're wondering what that scale is for, it's because I weigh my packages before I mail them out. So, that way I can get the accurate uh, postage on them. Anyways, do I need to leave the light on? I don't think so. Let's turn it off. All uh, right. And if you've been keeping up with the news, uh, Secret Wars has been going up. I don't know if they're many, I mean, I don't know if they're worth anything right now, but uh, number one in a nine issue limited issue, the Secret Wars number two. Uh, the uh, first um, first issue. I love this artwork, man. I don't know who did the artwork on this one. This one's great. I love it. It needs work. I mean, you could tell it's not perfect, but if I were to just, you know, guesstimate exactly what it'd be, not being able to tell what the back cover is. Is that a big dean there? Good grief. Man, it's blunted there. I'm a harsh grader, so automatically, you know, it's, it just got that stupid tape on it. I don't know if you could see it. Stupid tape right there. That's going to ruin it when I open it. Um, it looks a little dirty. Hopefully that's just the sleeve, but not the comic. What else do I got here? Oh, they decided to put bubble wrap on this one, huh? Okay, so this is a... Well, let me take it out. Let me take it out. Oh, that's a lot of tape. Oh, why did you do this? Put the tape on here and I can't even get it open. Jeez Louise. I'm going to have to tear this open just to get it out. I'm going to have to tear it open on both sides. Jeez. I mean, it's okay to, like, you know, pack it and stuff to make sure that it's... Sorry, it's a black screen right now, guys. Um, let me just stand you right there. There we go. Oh, then the tape got stuck again. This is why I don't like Scott's tape. There's a chance of causing more damage than um, than protection. Okay. Now that I got it out. This is a long video today. Okay, so this is a uh, Hail Hydra Secret Wars number one variant edition. So what you call a blank, you know, um, cover. And look at this. I don't know if I just did that or if it was already like that. Big old blunt corner on the top left. That's not going to come out. <sighs> Whatever. Spot number 370. Uh, I'm going dyslexic here. 327. Man, this is going to be the longest video I've ever had, I think. Well, no, I can't say that. According to What? Look at this. Look at this. 
don't know if you see that, but this sleeve is sliced right open right there. I'm going to have to get a new bag and board for that. Jeez, what is that? I'm going to have to take it out and put a new sleeve. Man. And then, um, this is just a random comic here. What is that? Is that nine pounds? Nine pence? So this is like the uh, British or Ukrainian uh, version of uh, Iron Fist number 24? Well, I mean, I don't know if it's worth anything or not. Maybe Jim might know, but... Still a cool cover, man. I like it. And uh, what do we got here? This looks like a newer comic. Uh, the Sentry number four from Marvel Knights. The Sentry, from what I remember, he's like um, like Marvel's version of Superman. You guys, correct me if I'm wrong. Uncanny X Men number two twenty eight. In memoriam, uh, somebody died. I don't know which one. I don't know who that character is. As you can tell, I, I'm into comic books. I've always been into comic books, but I've been out of the game for a while. This looks like an older Captain America, number 264. And it says, and the Falcon, in little letters there. Witness an American Nightmare. These things were so um, traumatized, traumatized, dra dramatized back in the day. Sure, you've seen Cap battle Nazis before, but never like this. That's cool. Oh, these are getting slippery. Um, World's Greatest Comic Magazine, Fantastic Four, Giant Size Spectacular, number 25, The Return of Doom. I mean, just looking at this picture, did he really need to stretch his right arm to reach Doom's left arm? I mean, you guys are that close to each other. I don't think stretching is necessary. Ah, uh, here we go. Here's a cool one. 30 cents. Thor! 256. Undying Demon from Beyond the Stars versus Thor. Undying Demon, who's that? Monstrous spore hath stolen the Lady Sif, and not all my power can save her. Okay. And the cool little cover. I've never heard of this one. Maybe you guys have. Um, from the creator of Conan, called the Destroyer. Out of the time lost Atlantis comes the greatest, most savage. What is it? Warrior King ever. Okay. Screams in the dark. That's kind of cool. I mean, I don't know if these are, these are even worth anything, to be honest. This is just a random uh, bulk that I got because I wanted to get a bunch of comic books at once and just, you know, one of those mystery things. I don't know if this is worth anything, but I, I remember the Grey Hulk. Uh, this looks rather new, so pretty sure it's not worth anything. Um, let's see, Marvel Comics Group, Marvel Double Feature featuring Captain America and Iron Man, number three, 20 cents comic book, that's kind of cool, quite possibly the very greatest action issue of the year, that is cool, I like that, these things are slipping off there, okay, what is this, a Gambit comic book, number 20, Secrets Revealed, uh, that's Rogue on the far left. I don't know who that is in the middle. Lives change forever. I don't know who that is in the next to Rogue. Anyways. Ah, here we go. Conan. Still only 25 cents. Death in the Land of Dagon. This is a cool cover too, man. I love the artwork. Uh, who's this? Who's the artwork on this? 
usually have a name on the artwork itself, but right there. Kane and Romita. Oh, really? Is it Gil Kane and, and uh, which Romita, though? Senior, I guess, because it would say junior. Uh, Earth's Mightiest Heroes. The Avengers, number 16. That's kind of cool. New York comic. Here's a New York comic. Secret Wars, number 5. Camera keeps losing focus. I hate that. Here's another blank. Secret Wars, number 1. Blank variant cover. Uh, Secret Wars, 2. Uh, issue number six. This is when the Beyonder shows up. Well, he's been around since the second episode, or second issue, I think. This comic looks uh, looks quite all right, but it's very loose in there. It wiggles back and forth very easily. I'm gonna have to change this, change this out, and put a better by uh, mylar in there. Better comic. Okay, so there's that's that. Probably taking so long, but I want you guys to see all this stuff. You know, see what it. You know, I got comics there and i got comics there i got a drill on the floor because you know i've been making more holes for the collection oh and i haven't shown you guys but i've been adding collection for celebrity autographs as well i uh, can't really zoom in there but that's uh professor x from the x-men number one signed by patrick stewart psa dna and then of course i got the main well ignore godzilla there that's an old godzilla 1985 then I have the uh, 